DWG files are used a lot as a reference in Tecla model, but with this experimental extension you can utilize the information in the DWG and create model and details with it. Even you would need to edit the created object after using the tool, it still improves productivity as you are getting the location and size information directly from the design intent. The tool does not cover all different modeling possibilities, but here is some examples what you can do with it. From polygons and rectangles you are able to create columns, slabs and foundations. For flooring you can create a floor layout component from a polygon and add openings. It's also possible to add user-defined component to a location of a DWG block. This is very common that you have, for example, the electrical reservations in the DWG as a block. So now you can add correct embed to the precast unit by just utilizing the block name and location. This is a huge productivity gain to create the embeds with one pick in the project that you have hundreds of these kind of embeds to place according to the DWG. This is also the reason why the tool was experimented in the first place. This video demonstrates the functionality. So here I have an example DWG as a reference which I set visible and then I open the tool from the component catalog. I get the model to browse all the content inside of this DWG. I can use the left side filters to see only for example the polygons in the model. And by selecting the floor layout and pressing the create button I can create a floor layout component to those polygons. Then I filter down the rectangles from the model and create the openings to those locations. Finally, I will fetch the block information from the model and create a defined custom components that I have customized for this project. By selecting all the rows from the list, I can create the embeds with the one pick. And in the same way, I can choose the different embed types to be placed with a different kind of component. Hatches in the DWG can be utilized to create, for example, a slab, which I, in this example, use to create just walls to represent the geometry of the walls. This example is about converting rectangles to pad footings and columns. So for example, selecting here the objects that are in layer columns and setting a height for that type of columns. And in the same way, by utilizing the layer and the profile information, creating the pad footings accordingly. From polygons, again, I can model a slab by utilizing the shape of that polygon.